Hello Virgo and welcome to your November 2024 monthly reading. Virgo, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with all of you. Wow, that doesn't want to be turned over. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest for someone else. You know, if it's not meant for you, it's not meant for you. So don't try to force it. Don't try to um, make it into something it's not and make it fit. My name is Rudy. If you are new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I appreciate all you all being here. All right. I made decorations here for my table. And let's pull a few more cards. How y'all doing? I believe it's November already. All right. I'm in the deck. Ace of Wands. Beautiful. Beautiful energy here. Okay, we're going to start over here with the two cards I pulled to meditate on, uh, Virgo, before I come on the camera. We have Warrior Woman, and if you're a male watching this or identify as a male watching this, either or, you know, it's just your feminine side. Um, have you ever, have you answered the, your deepest calling? Figuring out, to me, the swords are figuring out what you want. It is your knowledge. It is your truth. What is your, your own truth? And I feel with this and you have West, which is completion. Getting an answer to, you know, like a puzzle piece, bringing instability and structure, finding an answer. It's like something's going to click. There's something this month that's going to click for you. Something's going to fall into place. Something is going to um, make sense. And it could be about what your highest calling is. I don't know if you can see all these rays coming out of here. It's like, you know, your, uh, what you're meant to do, who you're meant to be. Getting an answer. Getting an answer. Maybe that's why you're here. Maybe you're seeking an answer to that. All right. We start out with the Eight of Wands and then the Four of Wands. So there's like this big push of energy. Could be messages. It could be something you've put out there um, to the universe. Just say you're looking for a job. You put a bunch of resumes out there. And they're coming in. It's like everything's coming in. There's some type of fast-moving, quick energy coming in. And it's going to bring your structure and stability. It can also bring in a celebration. It could be something that you've been waiting for. It could be something that you've... You could be waiting for something in the mail uh, to come in. And then you're going to get you know, confirmation on something. And you can celebrate. You can have um, yeah, some type of get-together or some type of uh, celebration. Some type of joyous gathering with friends and family because of this because of whatever is coming in because of whatever answer is here or whatever it is that you're seeking um or put out to the universe is coming in i feel with the eight of wands wands is fast moving energy it is aries leo sagittarius it is fire and it is fast it is you know it's it's fast moving energy and you have wands here also so um the Bottom of the deck, or I'm sorry, golly, take a breath. Okay. What's under this is the Five of Swords in reverse. So I feel like it's a foundation energy. It's what's caused this. It's what caused you, what spurred you on here, what made you want to do whatever this is. Send out resumes, send out, it could be dating apps or something like that even. Um, but you could have found out something or you can find out something, um, uh, that was going on that you didn't know about. Um, I feel somebody was not playing fair. I feel somebody was not treating you fair. I feel somebody was using you. Um, and you could be coming into that energy. You could be finding that out as you, as the days go on for November and you can kind of come into that energy. And maybe that is what this puzzle piece is. Maybe that's the last puzzle piece. And maybe maybe you didn't know for sure. Maybe now you do. And that could be where you take up the sword and um, 
move yourself forward, right? Because you have this here, you have your swords here, there are six of them. And these are knowledge. You're, you're moving forward, you're, out of, you're moving out of rough waters here. This is past energy, what you're coming into. Moving out of rough waters, coming into still calm waters here. You're still carrying your swords with you. You're still carrying your knowledge. You're still carrying the whys, what happened, um, figuring out how things are working or how things work with this energy. And, you know, figuring out the whys and what happens as you come into this eight of wands energy, this fast moving energy. And it could just be to get out, you know, to get out of dodge, as they say. Present energy is a three of pentacles. I feel you have people around you that are helping you. There's a lot of help around you. There's people there that maybe have been through something similar. This could be a crisis center even, or it could be like like-minded people, it even could be counseling. It could be a, a group of some sort that you've joined, but there's a lot of like-minded people here and there's a lot of higher energy that can help you and again, teach you and move you in the direction you need to go. Your future is the high priestess. And I feel like whatever happened, Virgo, here, you, you've learned the lesson and you're not going to repeat. Um, I feel in the past, you probably had a head heads up maybe and you ignored it for whatever reason this is. If it was whoever hurt you, I'm not saying it's a lover. I'm not saying it could be a friend. It could be a family member. It could be, it could be a lover. But I feel like somebody's done you wrong and whoever did this, you know, they're not going to, it's not going to happen again. You've taken note of it and you, you're seeking the understanding. You're seeking the truth. You're seeking the understanding and it won't happen again. You put, you're writing it in your book. You're putting it in your book and you know that, um, you know, you're going to be on it. It won't, it, this won't happen again in that sense. High priestess is all about trusting your intuition, trusting your instincts, trusting your guides, bringing balance back into that. If you have had trouble in the past with it, uh, bringing back in into balance that energy, you're being represented by the two of swords, which is a decision that needs to be made. And it could be cutting somebody out of your life where you really don't want to have to make that decision. Um, all this beautiful swords energy here, you know, you have two and you're going to come to one. Um, she's blindfolded or they're blindfolded. So you can listen to your intuition. So you can listen to your gut. That is what that is, um, knowing you have a decision to make, but also trusting your instincts and not relying on what you see or what you've heard or, or you know, what other people say, et cetera, et cetera. Decisions that have to be made not wanting to, well, knowing you have to make the decisions. It's not that you don't want to make the decision, but it's not a fun thing to have to do is what I feel. The energy around you is the Knight of Swords, and this is just a call to take action. It goes really well with this, this warrior woman energy of have you answered your deepest calling? Again, with the sword, one single sword, it's like I'm prevailing in truth. I am doing, you know, I am doing what I know how to do. and. Um, I'm not going to stand for um, being treated the way I was treated or being shamed or being humiliated or whatever it is this Five of Swords energy did. Tricked, bullied um, energy. Your hopes and fears, again, is celebration. Fun times. You have the, the four here. This is the three going out with friends, um, like-minded people, you know, I feel it's your hopes that one day or soon you can go out and enjoy yourself once again. Maybe in the past you couldn't. Uh, coming out of this energy, whatever it is that you're getting away from, maybe you couldn't enjoy yourself. And that is your hope is that, you know, you can get together with friends again. And um, I keep hearing be normal, right? Be normal, whatever that is for you. And then the final outcome card is the seven of wands, again, with the fire signs. Setting boundaries and keeping them. Um, <laughs> this time for real is what I hear. Setting boundaries and keeping them. Um, and you're not going to hesitate. You're not going to hesitate. I feel like 
you have a very um a very small compact circle of people you let in and i feel like if you have certain things that you will not stand for and if they answer to one of those as a yes then you're not going to even give them a time of day um i feel like there's time that's going to be taken here as far as uh, getting to know people or getting to know others um, i feel that's why you're sticking closer to people you know or people that have really really been there for you you're not looking to uh, go out on the dating circuit quickly or you're not looking to um you know just randomly make friends i feel like you're going to clean up whatever mess that was made here you're going to learn from it you've learned from it and you're going to hold your boundaries seven is a number of decisions and it's you're going to it's going to complete the cycle it's going to complete the the map the puzzle it's going to complete that for you so you can move on again with structure and stability with the four bottom of the deck energy we have the ace of wands again another wand so maybe this person was a fire sign aries leo sag maybe you have a lot of fire in your chart but this is dreams and desires new dreams and desires coming in what do you want to do i feel like um virgo i feel like you're free i feel like there's freedom here i feel almost like with the five of swords reversed it's like you know almost like like you're a captive and now you're set free is kind of what i feel and you're moving yourself forward in the direction of people that you know can help you people that you know you can trust and people that are going to lift you up and hold you in that space of um of love and compassion and non-judgment is what i feel and i feel like this could be school this could be teaching this could be a new new something for you new creative endeavor for you an outlet for you subconsciously so i feel it's not on the board yet it might not be here but if this opportunity presents itself um the wands is like a window they open and close really quickly so if this opportunity presents itself you know for you to either take a class or teach a class or do something creative or do something that you um love to do or if it's your desire or your dream you've always had do not hesitate and jump on it when it's offered because that window can close and then you go back to it after you think about something for too long and it's it's done uh, what i always like to tell my clients is if it's on a friday or a thursday tell whoever that you'll give them till monday and give them an answer by like noon or something so that way you have a, a deadline and so do they and nobody's just waiting around or ask if it would be okay if you have a deadline okay we're gonna pull one more card virgo for you Start out of hiding over here virgo virgo all right virgo virgo need to know one last card please whoa here we go gonna have to go uh, dive to get it straddling worlds isn't that a beautiful card Wandering between realms. Mm. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And I feel too that, you know, I feel with this card, I'll, ha I'll read the meaning of it, but I almost feel like it's not really knowing where you belong, not really feeling like you fit in. But we'll see what the cards say. I love all the purples here. Such a healing and spiritual color. Being comfortable in two states. Wandering between realms. Reinvention. Definitely see that, don't we? The reinvention. Being able to close a door on something with the completion. When the Straddling Worlds card shows up, it, it's an invitation to get used to living with one foot in your old world and one foot in the new. There is no going back to the way things once were. And what will be there, what will be, is not yet fully here. You must find the delicate balance that can bring you delight as you relish the past and all your memories, along with the awe as you glimpse the astonishing and exciting future. 
Do not wait for applause. Move on quietly, humbly, invisible to others. This card brings an invitation to begin not only a new chapter, but a new book in your life. Do not break the news to anyone. Let people be surprised as you are as you are as you reinvent yourself. Make sure you are not just a slightly improved and more polished version of a dated and obsolete you. Make sure you are not just a slightly improved and more polished version of a dated and obsolete you. Gotcha. Birth yourself into something original. Do not feel like you have to explain yourself to be understood by anyone. Become a mystery even to yourself. Gaze into the mirror one morning and be pleasantly surprised. Straddling worlds invites you to become a true wizard, not one who performs magic tricks, but one who has mastered the dance between the invisible and the visible, between the realm of form and formlessness. You are the birther of new ideas, of original and sustainable ways of being in the world. And I feel with this that had you not gone through what you've gone through from the past, this couldn't be possible. You couldn't have this new appreciation. And that too could be where this two of swords comes in, you know, where you are feeling torn, you're feeling which way to go. But you know what you want, you know what you won't put up with, you know what you don't want. And you know that I feel, especially with the high priestess, that this has come, you know, um, with the West card, it has come full circle. And, you know, the sun sets in the West, so I feel like something's ending, something's closing for you, so you can start new, so you can start fresh and figure out who you are. Have you answered your deep, deepest calling? So it goes really well with the straddling the worlds, because you probably feel a little torn here and there, like a little bit of sadness moving away from something, but yet joy and excitement as you move toward the future so beautiful card virgo let me know how this resonates because you know doors are opening for you here absolutely doors are opening you're gonna have a lot of choices a lot of choices you can hear from somebody that you haven't heard from in a long time also the message could be coming in that could surprise you take care stay safe be blessed my Virgos, thank you so much for watching. If you know any other Virgo that this sounds like, please feel free to share. I do not mind if you want to share this at all. Um, they might need to hear it just as much as you do. Take care, stay safe, be blessed, and until next time, I will see you then. Thank you so much for watching, and bye for now.